what's up everybody and welcome to vlog one of my drum life series i'm pretty pumped about this series i've been getting tons of requests to do more vlogging and i love sharing my life with you guys i love um, playing drums and showing you what i do on a daily basis and so um, if you like the idea of vlogs leave a like and a comment down below and let me know so that that kind of says like hey i want more of these videos so let's get started on that um, i'm starting out in my car here because i kind of thought that was uh, very fitting since I've been in my car so much lately. I've been going uh, all over the place playing church camps with my wife and uh, my brother-in-laws and so been having a lot of fun doing that but today I uh, woke up at 6 and I drove over to my dad's house where my acoustic drums are right now to take care of some dogs and also to work on the next video in the Through the Decades with Casey Cooper um, series on the Decade Maple Kit and so I've already given away one drum set um, at least announced the winner um, then have launched a second video and today we're working on a third video which is the 1980s so let's go inside uh, I'll show you guys this dog you can probably hear barking in the background and uh, yeah let's play some drums what's up puppy hello hello back up back up I'm coming in hi there Kinsler I know you missed me just admit it why oh, you were barking so much. So this is my brother's dog, and kind of my dad's dog too, but my brother got this dog, and now he's off at med school, so he's kind of stuck here, hanging out. This is Kinsler, and then over in this door is Copper, our dachshund, so I'm about to take this dog out for a walk. Yeah, I know you want to go out, let's go. So fast. All right, so now it's time to meet the other dog. Come here, Copper. Yeah, you're a big old wiener dog, aren't you? Just a little hot dog. Actually, you ready to go outside? Yeah, you need to go outside? All right, come on. Come on, go out this way. Go out the back door. Yeah, you're a stubborn little hot dog. Come on. That's better. So, if you haven't seen it yet, I just launched a brand new series of videos called Through the Decades with Casey Cooper, which I was talking about earlier. And so, that's what I'm working on today. It's a series that I'm doing with Pearl on the new Decade Maple Kit. This one over here is the setup that I used for the 1970s video. But what's really cool about this is not only am I doing these medleys that are showcasing some of the coolest songs from each decade, like iconic songs, like the biggest songs, um, of each decade or at least a lot of the biggest songs and so that right there is really awesome I'm excited about that but the biggest part about it is each week I'm giving away a drum set with Pearl and each week I am giving away a decade maple kit and so if you didn't see the original video I did this whole like five drum set thing where each of the drum sets that are being given away were all set up and then I played each of the drum sets and was playing them all at the same time and it was pretty crazy so you need to check that out if you haven't but uh, what I'm doing today is this kit right here is the 70s setup, so it's using the 24 inch kick, 13 inch rack tom, 16 inch floor tom, and 14 by 5.5 inch snare. So that was cool for last week, but each week I'm doing a different setup because the Decade Maple Kit has different configurations. So what I'm about to do is I'm going to switch the 24 inch kick out for a 22 inch, then using a 10 and 12 inch rack tom setup, and then the 16 inch floor tom and the 14 by 5.5 inch snare. And so this is actually my favorite configuration. If I get a five piece drum set, I want a 10, 12, 16 with a 22 and a 14. But I really, really love each of the different configurations that I've used so far and the ones that I'm working to do, use in the future on this series. So um, I'm about to show you guys a little bit of setup and tear down on all that. So let's get started on switching out these kits and then I'll show you some of the other stuff we gotta do.
So I now have the new setup done here. Got a 14 by 5 and a half inch snare, 10 by 7 rack tom, 12 by 8 rack tom, 16 by 16 floor tom, and 22 by 18 inch kick drum. The kick drums come with that bass drum pillow right there and some velcro, so you just slap that in there and it really helps it sound killer right off the bat. I've got the new Ovidus symbols from Zildjian here on the kit. These are the 15 inch hats. Over here I've got the 14 inch hats. Then I've got an 18 inch crash, 19 inch crash, the kick custom VFX back there that's an 18 inch, and I've got the 22 inch ride. And then I've got the new Eliminator Redline pedal set up here. So this is the remote hat, and so you can see the cable goes around there, up under the kick drum, up there, and boom, hi-hat over here. So I can do this. Pretty awesome. 11-inch K Custom Hybrid Splash, and a 10-inch A back Flash Splash. So that's the new setup here for the 1980s video. It's a little sneak peek for you guys. You don't actually get to uh, hear it. Well, you get to hear it, but you don't actually get to see the medley yet. That comes out on Saturday. But one of the funniest little issues I had here is space. We've got the 20 inch kick, the 24 inch kick, the 22 inch kick. I actually just took all the hardware off the 24 uh, inch kick and put it on the 22 inch kick. And then I'm going to be able to stack some drums up in there. But as you can see, this room is like crazy full. And like, <laughs> definitely not complaining. It's incredible to have like all sorts of drums, but it's a little bit of a funny problem that you don't necessarily think about until all of a sudden you don't have space for things anymore. Like this is the kitchen and dining room over here. So messy, but I've got <laughs> drums on the counter, drums on the table, um, drums on the floor, boxes, cymbal bags, drum heads. All of this is like fortified off right now so the dogs don't get to the drums. But uh, yeah, so it's a little bit of a uh, old school house tour. If you haven't seen any of my old videos, you've seen that before. But if you have seen it, you've seen it before. But yeah, so there's the new kit all set up. Time to get the track ready. So let's, uh, let's go check out how we get the track ready. Alright, so I'm working on some tracks now. Um, I'm actually playing a Pokemon intro tonight at Wave Week at Freedom Church. Freedom Church is my home church and they have a youth camp this week that I'm playing drums for and so we're kind of kicking it off with a little bit of a relevant opener which would be just a little bit of uh, Pokemon drum cover and so since Pokemon Go is so huge right now we're just you know gonna have a little fun and uh, get everybody hyped up and excited because it's like it's the huge thing so that's what I'm working on right now I just created uh, the theme and then put in a uh, metronome a click track with it and that way I know when to click off the song and how to start it and uh, then I'm playing like the first minute or so and then we're going into the set so that's exciting but after that um, now I have to work on the medley for the 1980s and so I've got Tom Sawyer kicking it off which is super exciting and then basically what I'm doing is I have a list of um, the songs and their BPMs and then I'm transitioning kind of using some of the ones that are about the same tempo and transitioning from those to those. And I kind of go from slowest to fastest just because it's easiest to go, okay, now I'm at like 116 BPM and there's three songs around 116 and then I jump from there to there. And I kind of try and find um, things that are relevant between the songs, like uh, Back in Black goes, jada, 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 jada. And so like I take that rhythm and uh, Tom Sawyer ends with do cha cha do cha cha do cha cha do cha 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 cha, and so I kind of go from do cha cha do cha cha do cha cha do cha 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 dun cha dun cha dun cha dun cha cha, and it's just kind of like similar stuff. Um, and then Back in Black ends, and it goes into uh, Master of Puppets. So that's all the teasers I'm going to give you, but I'll kind of show you a little bit of the screen and a little bit of my notebook and uh, the pad and how I'm kind of working on all this. So. I'll show that, I'll have shown that on screen while I was talking about this, but I'm going to get some video of it now. And then it's time to start playing some drums. Actually, it's probably time for lunch first, but we'll get there. And now it's time for one of my favorite parts of the day, and that is lunch. Check this out. China wok, sweet and sour chicken with vegetable fried rice, and my own custom hot sauce here, mixing Cholula hot sauce and this habanero red sabina, something like that. 
It's also Copper's favorite player of the day. Copper. Hey, buddy. Do it. Up. Up. Stand up. You know you can. Uh-oh. Come on. See, I knew you would do it. That's right. He's such a little cutie. Watch this. Nope. Depth perception gone on camera. Oh, no. Stand back up. No, I can't give it to you now. Well, I can, but because you're too cute. Now that is a joke of a fortune cookie. <laughs> So I just got in contact with the winner of the first kit from the Casey Cooper Through the Decade series and it's so exciting. It's this 14 year old kid named Brian Windham and he's never had a drum set before but he's been playing for a long time. He's um, taken lessons and played at guitar centers and played at school. Sent me a video of his playing after I got in contact with him and it's so cool to see like this kid who is now going to have a drum set. like. Oh man, it's been my dream for so long to be able to like give out drum sets and to like change people's lives in, in ways that like, I mean, I know tons of you guys know how awesome it would be to receive a drum set if you don't have one or even, you know, replace an old drum set if yours is falling apart and crappy, but it's just so like, it's so exciting for me because there's nothing I care about more than like inspiring and helping and motivating people and you know, it's like these things are becoming a reality now. It's so cool to like Pearl and Zildjian and all these companies like you know want to help other people and want to help me help other people and so I'm so excited about it. I can't wait to figure out um, the next winner and uh, find out who it is and really find out you know how life-changing is going to be for them too. So congrats Brian. So pumped to hook you up with this drum set and uh, shout out to Pearl for being so awesome. Alright guys, so I am done drumming with the medley. Um, I definitely will put some of the video of me drumming before this or after this or something like that, but um, this one was crazy because just nailing Tom Sawyer at the beginning the right way and then going into um, Back in Black and then Master of Puppets and some of the other things that happened, um, just hitting all those transitions perfectly and all, oh, it was, it was crazy. I actually finished on like the last take that my camera batteries had, I'm pretty sure. I saw them blinking as I was finishing. And not blinking record, but blinking batteries, so. Oh man, I am sweaty. It is, it is hot in here, so. Yeah, guys. <laughs> That's that. Now I have to go shower, get ready, and um, listen to and learn the songs that I have to play tonight at church for youth camp, so. Um, doing that is pretty crazy because like yesterday I played a whole different set of songs and then last week I was playing a different youth camp with a whole different set of songs and then I was also putting together this medley and learning the songs for this medley and now I'm done with this medley so that I can learn the songs for tonight so that I can learn some different songs for next Sunday. Well actually different songs for every single night of this week. Yeah, lots of drumming but <laughs> no complaints there, it's fun. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll check back in with you guys in a little while. Woo! All right, so I made it to church. I'm parked outside. Uh, our call time is 5.45 and it's 5.30, so I've got a couple of minutes. And uh, so what I did is, I told you guys I had to learn some songs really quickly. Um, a few of these I've sort of played before, but it's been forever, so I don't really remember them. But what I do is I write out kind of a listing of how the song goes. So like this right here, it's called Your Kingdom. It's uh, my friend Blake Goss's song. Um, he's the worship leader at Freedom. And so I kind of write like, you know, drum fill starts it, guitar feature with groove, uh, verse, no drums, guitar feature, verse, no drums, guitar feature, pre-chorus, like those kinds of things where it's like, I tell myself almost clues for the song. That way, um, if I have any questions, then I can figure it out um, quickly. Oh, Caroline's here. Hi. She's the bass player. But yeah, so I have a whole uh, lesson on that, on Dremio, and then um, I got all sorts of other, other free lessons, but I gotta go. 
Okay, so I just had to move my car away from the building. That way they could set up stuff for this youth camp. Uh, anyway, but basically what I was saying is that um, I have a whole lesson series, um, a video on YouTube about how to do the, uh, like how to learn songs quickly. That's the drumming lesson that I did. It's like a live lesson. All sorts of drumming in it, and then I kind of explained my whole process on that. And I also have some other free lessons, um, free starter lessons and linear drumming lessons that are up right now that you can download for free. So I've got the link in the description. You can go check that out and uh, enjoy it. But yeah, I'm about to go inside and do a little rehearsal, and Hannah's, my wife, is bringing some Starbucks. So I'm excited about that because it's been a long day. So a little caffeine won't hurt. All right, see you guys inside. everybody so it has been a long day and uh, we are kind of at the end of it now finally I get to see my wife again this is Hannah if you didn't know Hi. and uh, we just got done at the first day of youth camp at Freedom Church wave camp so uh, wave week it was a lot of fun and uh, the Pokemon thing went over really well everyone started singing it and the kids got all excited so that was fun, but all I really wanted to end the day was a slushie. So I'm about to go inside and get me a slushie, and then that will be the end of this day. So thanks for coming along with the journey, and uh, tune in for the next one. Make sure you leave a like if you want to see more of these, because uh, I love sharing my life, and I love talking about drums and hanging out. So thanks for watching, and have a good night.